Hi everybody, uh, today I wanted to talk to you about what volume analysis is and all the different types of technical indicators uh, that can help you better understand volume. Um, so I am really interested in price, um, but actually I'm very interested also in volume. So volume is the uh, second main indicator that you have uh, when you get data from your provider about the stock. Surprisingly, a lot of people don't use uh, very much volume analysis for technical analysis. Um, so I wanted to go into some primary ways uh, that you could look at uh, volume analysis um, using various technical indicators. So on the top graph here, we have the price of the SPY, which is S&P 500. We have a regular volume indicator here underneath, and then we have a volume oscillator. Um, so essentially most of these uh, technical analysis uh, tools are based on oscillators. Oscillator is basically the difference between two moving averages. You can usually specify what the short cycle is and the long cycle is. So it's the difference between these two um, for volume. So it compares the total volume, um, which is always positive. Um, it doesn't really consider negative volume uh, when using a volume oscillator unless you're using a different type of volume oscillator. But a standard volume oscillator just looks at the raw volume. So how might that be useful to you? So you can see here um, that volume has basically been decreasing and then volume was increasing and then volume decreasing and so on. Um, so in general, price action is confirmed during higher volume. So you know that price is more correct uh, during higher volume. So basically these areas in here, for instance, this area in here, and this area in here all had lots of volume. Um, and in fact, right in here had the most volume. And you can also see where the most volume was also shows in the volume profile. So not only do I have a... Uh, a volume oscillator, I also have a volume profile, and you can add that to your chart with most technical analysis packages. So it won't always be the case, but in this case it happens to be the case that where there was the most volume, which is right in here, um, and you can see that on the volume indicator here, that right here and here, the volume profile will also show the same level. But if you want to know the precise level, you'd have to step back and take a look. Um, at what time frame you're looking at. So for this particular time frame, this area, this level right here, about 426 um, was the most traded area. Another really great uh, volume indicator that I like is called the on balance volume indicator. Um, and OBV is what it's abbreviated as sometimes. So essentially all it does is it takes the volume and sums it up. Now it does have positive or negative on this. So if the price went down for the day, then the, pr the volume is considered negative and the volume will go down on the on balance volume indicator. But it actually takes care of no price changes and it only looks at just the volume. So it sums up all the volume throughout the history here and then gets a net look at what's going on. So here you can see that although the price went up, the volume did go up to here a little bit, but in general, the volume has been going down pretty steadily. And you don't really see the same uptrends that you do because the volume really wasn't behind those. So it gives you a better idea for what's going on with just volume. Perhaps my favorite indicator for volume is the Klinger volume oscillator. And I like this best because it keeps pretty good track of whether or not the volume was positive or negative and it works a lot like the MACD. So if you're familiar with the MACD, basically you have a signal line which is the red line here uh, and then you have the Klinger line uh, which is this white line or the Klinger volume oscillator line and then you have the histogram showing the difference between the signal line and the Klinger line. Um, and it works almost exactly like the MACD. Um, and sometimes it works better, sometimes it works worse. You can really compare it uh, versus both, and I'll show you some comparisons here in a second. So let's do a simple comparison here, and you can see some of the uh, advantages and disadvantages of using a MACD or a Klinger volume oscillator. So, for example, the Klinger oscillator shows a negative, it shows this thing here um, being negative before uh, the uh, MACD signal, right? So you can kind of start to anticipate that there's going to be some trend here, some trend change. Now, the reason that it's still positive is because the clear volume oscillator is on the positive side here. Um, sometimes uh, it doesn't always work as well when you have an uh, oscillator that is on the positive side. So then you're looking at a downward trend. So right here we have a downward trend 
uh, pretty clearly on the MACD, and we also show pretty clearly also on the uh, cleaner volume oscillator, but that does show uh, certain signals differently, um, and in fact, even better than the MACD right here, for instance. Right, You can see that the cleaner volume oscillator did show positive volume quite a bit here, um, and it didn't really show up as much on the MACD as a bump. It showed up as a little bump, but not as a significant bump uh, like it did on the cleaner volume oscillator. Now the nice part about the cleaner volume oscillator um, is that you can compare levels uh, just like you can do on the MACD. So I can compare this level up here and compare that with the lower level down here and see which one is actually more significant. So right down here you have about uh, negative 34 million and then up here just so happens to be about the same. Uh, but uh, you know sometimes you can see with this peak it wasn't quite as much uh, on that peak. Uh, likewise, you can also do that with a histogram. Now, the histogram is basically the difference between these two. So this histogram level is basically the difference between the signal line and this line right here, um, which shows right here on this histogram. Now, you can compare that as a raw value uh, with this one, or you can just use it as a indicator line, or you can use it as this possible signal line because you have red here showing that it could signal a downward trend. And the MACD may or may not uh, show these kind of things. So MACD shows a green signal here, whereas the, on the volume indicator, it shows a red signal, which shows that maybe you should start thinking about a downward trend again. And it kind of detected it a little bit before uh, the MACD signal did. Um, so what I do is I set up a whole volume uh, technical analysis page. So I have views and then I have it specifically for volume. Um, so anytime I want to look at volume, I, I can study it very carefully with just the uh, volume here. Now I have two others here, Elder Ray Index, which is kind of like the cleaner volume oscillator, but not, uh, in my opinion, not quite as great. Um, it does have, uh, does show positive and negative kind of volume trends a little bit. Um, you can see that it doesn't show quite the same uh, details, in my opinion, correctly as uh, uh, it's more of like a force indicator. So it's more of like price times volume, which is like the elder force indicator here. So this does show volume. You can kind of see that this is basically negative volume in these ranges and it's basically negative here, but there's one positive tick here. So on a Klinger volume oscillator, it may actually go up into positive territory in certain areas. Um, where it doesn't actually go to positive territory uh, on the Elder Force Index because it's price times volume and it's a little bit uh, different. And last but not least, uh, just a regular volume indicator. Um, it can be helpful just to look at the actual data just so you can kind of just double check and make common sense. Uh, sometimes the technical indicators won't show you the just total facts that you need to see. Um, and this will show you the facts basically. So you can see here that there's some like pot negative volume kind of trend going in here. Now, does that show up on a Klinger volume oscillator? You can kind of see, well, you see negative volume trends here, negative volume trends here, and negative volume trends here. So it does indeed show up as a negative volume trend, um, but it's kind of hard to see. Um, there is some positive volume in here too. So it's a little bit of a debate. Uh, where is that positive volume? Well, it shows here positive volume. Uh, all of them show the positive volume correctly, but uh, what the exact number is and all that depends on what your personal preferences are um, in terms of uh, technical analysis and volume analysis in specific. Anyway, I hope you've really enjoyed this study of volume analysis. Um, there's just so many different ways to look at it. Um, I definitely definitely run side by side if you're testing volume volume uh, technical indicators run it side by side um, with the actual volume and just compare it and see what you like best so what I did here is I lined them all up and I can kind of like compare them I can cut it down to just one of the volume analysis tools and then also just the regular volume if I wanted to 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 do that that way Anyway, I hope this really helps you trade a lot better. It was really interesting look at volume. I kind of get bored of price sometimes and just looking at just price action. So it's really fun to see volume and use that as an indicator to help you make better trades. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'd really be thankful for that. Um, be sure to send me a message, say hi, let me know like what you're interested in and what ideas you have uh, for other videos and other topics that you might want to just discuss casually offline. 
So again, we looked at the cleaner volume oscillator here, the elder ray index, just a regular volume oscillator, elder force index, and then a regular just volume uh, profile here or volume on delay. Um, so if any of these were interesting to you, try to add them to your technical analysis and take a look. Thanks again. Hope you have a great day. See you.